tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now, it's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then, let me know what you're podcasting all about. Don't look into the abyss, my friends. Just don't. Hey there, this is your host, Brian Rollins, and it's episode 143 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week, we're continuing our Halloween episodes with another horror author, H.P. Lovecraft. As always, we're giving you three rounds, ten questions each. I ask, you guess, then we see who got it right. If you're looking for rules or a scorecard, visit the show's website, dorkygeekynerdy.com. I think we've delayed heading out into the night long enough. Let's get going. The Dorky Round Number 1. What heavy metal band featured the instrumental song The Call of Cthulhu on their 1984 Ride the Lightning album? Metallica Number two, Jeffrey Combs stars in a series of films inspired by what Lovecraft novella? Herbert West, Reanimator. Number three, Kristen Stewart starred in what 2020 film inspired by Lovecraft's monsters? Underwater. Number four, Nicolas Cage starred in what 2020 Lovecraft adaptation? The Color Out of Space. Number five, what Scooby-Doo series featured some elements of Lovecraft and included a spoof of the author? Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Jeffrey Combs voiced a character named H.P. Hatecraft. Number six. What 2016 novel explores the Cthulhu mythos during the era of Jim Crow laws? Lovecraft Country. Written by Mark Ruff. Number seven, what fictional school appears in several of Lovecraft's works? Miskatonic University. 
Number eight, the aforementioned university is located in what New England town? Arkham. Number nine, what author of V for Vendetta and The Watchmen lists Lovecraft as a formative influence? Alan Moore. Number 10. Until 2015, what organization gave out awards styled with Lovecraft's head? The World Fantasy Awards. They were discontinued in 2015 due to Lovecraft's views on race. The Geeky Round. Number 1. The Call of Cthulhu was published in what magazine? Weird Tales. It appeared in the February 1928 edition. Number 2. What 1992 PC game from Infogrames was inspired by the works of Lovecraft. Alone in the Dark. Number three, what 1996 first-person shooter featured a final boss named after a Lovecraftian deity? Quake. Number four. The Dreams in the Witch House inspired what 1968 film that starred Boris Karloff and Christopher Lee? Curse of the Crimson Altar. Number five, what 1970s anthology series featured several episodes based on Lovecraft's work? Rod Serling's Night Gallery. Number six, what publishing company was founded to preserve the works of H.P. Lovecraft? Arkham House. Number seven. What was the first Lovecraft short story to be published? The Alchemist, in November 1916. Number eight. Starting in 1981, what company began publishing the role-playing game Call of Cthulhu? Chaosium Incorporated. Number nine. In what novella are brains extracted and placed into cylinders for space travel? The Whisperer in Darkness. Number 10. Lovecraft wrote a memoir for what Conan the Barbarian author? Robert E. Howard. The Nerdy Round. Number 1. What does HP stand for? Howard Phillips. Number two, Lovecraft was born in Providence, Rhode Island. 
But where did he die? Also, Providence, while he did move around, his final four years were spent in his hometown. Number three, while known mostly for his short stories and novella, what was the one novel published by Lovecraft? The Case of Charles Dexter Ward Number 4. What 2018 DC movie features a Lovecraft-quoting villain? Aquaman. Black Manta quotes The Call of Cthulhu at one point in the film. Number 5. The Dunwich Horror takes place in a fictional town in which U.S. state? Massachusetts. Number 6. What Edgar Cantero novel mixed his version of Scooby-Doo with Lovecraftian horror? Meddling Kids Number 7. What was the last Lovecraft short story to be published? The Haunter of the Dark. It was published in December 1936. Number 8. According to literary scholars, what is the central theme of Lovecraft's works? Cosmicism. Number 9. Who is the narrator in The Call of Cthulhu? Francis Wayland Thurston. Number 10. What was the only novella published in book form during Lovecraft's lifetime? The Shadow Over Innsmouth. And we are done for this week's show. I hope you had fun. We'll keep going with one more horror author next week. Here's your clue. What horror writer was born in Portland, Maine in 1947? That will wrap up October. I hope to see you back here for that show and all our future shows. I don't normally dedicate these episodes, but this one's dedicated to my late friend, Steve. Steve was the biggest Cthulhu fan I've ever known. While his love for the mythos didn't quite rub off on me, he did introduce me to the Song of Ice and Fire books way back in 2001. For that, I will be forever grateful. Wherever you are now, Steve, I hope you enjoyed the show. This has been episode 143 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music has been by Jason Shaw at audionautics.com. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. You can find me at The Voices in My Head. Thanks for listening.